excited for 86? Yeah. I am, because I'm actually a FRS owner myself, so when I drove this vehicle, actually the law changes were improved, and they're pretty substantial. But before we dive into the new features of 86, let's kind of revisit the key ingredients that made the FRS, now the 86, such a great car. So we continue with a 2.0 boxer engine that's paired with a six-speed manual transmission or a six-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. It comes standard with Torsion LSD, as well as Toyota's D4S dual injection system. And of course, it's four-wheel it's rear drive. The design has been enhanced both exterior and interior, but we kept this low slung roof line and wide stance, which makes it look sleek and aggressive at the same time. Pays homage to the 2000 GT of the past. Inside, you'll find a standard 7 inch display audio system with those nice front sport bucket seats and a driver focused interior design. And it's a 2 plus 2 coupe, so in the rear, there are two seats for passengers. <laughs> and you can see a little smirk here. You can fit a couple passengers in there. And then uh, <laughs> you get Toyota care as a, a piece of mind driving. And as speaking of peace of mind, driving a lot of safety system in place as well. Star safety system, backup camera, and six airbags, all standard. So let's dive into the new features of the 86. So beginning of the exterior, you get brand new fender inserts. Uh, before it was an 86 piston badge on the fender. Now we have a little winglet um, on the, in place of that. Actually helps with body roll and uh, rail dynamics. We have a new 86 exterior badge, as you see here, on the fender, and brand new 70 inch twisted alloy wheels. And these wheels are really aggressive and really sporty. Looks perfect for this car. In the front, we incorporate all LED lightings for both the front light and DRLs, projector high and low beam, and really nice 86 logo embossed on the headlights. Check those out, looks really elegant, really nice touch for the 86. The front center intake has been redesigned to emphasize a low and wide stance. As I mentioned, the front fender mounted vortex generator helps with aerodynamics in the front. In the rear, we have a revised rear bumper with improved aerodynamic lower diffuser that controls lift more manageably. And just at the front, the rear has all LED lighting now as well. Inside, Gone are the red accents and the red colors, all black with splashes of silver and splashes of gray. We have a new material called Grand Lux. It's a premium suede-like material that's located on the shoulder pad and throughout the vehicle, which I will go through in a bit. So previously, the 2016 FRS, that steering wheel was the smallest Toyota have ever made. For 2017, we made that steering wheel even smaller, three millimeter in diameter smaller that gives you a, more, um, a better steering feel when you're turning the vehicle. We also added audio controls on the left of the steering wheel as well as the new 86 center cap logo. We also have an 86 logo embossed on the passenger side of the instrument panel. And on the instrument panel and the door panel, we added the Grand Lux material. And the material does not only look luxurious and mature, but actually uh, deflects the lighting reflection when you're driving that might distract a driver. It also provides um, sound deadening to your vehicle as well. Now let's talk about drivetrain. That's, that's a new major enhancement for 86. So for both the automatic and the manual, you get hill start assist standard. So perfect for those new manual transmission drivers. And we've made further enhancement to the manual transmission version of the vehicle. And the reason we did that is because the majority of our customers who buy the manual transmission are performance oriented. They want to feel that power, feel that difference. To start off, for the differential gear ratio on the manual transmission, we changed it from 4.1 to 4.3, which resulted in faster acceleration, a broader torque delivery, and just overall improved performance. Horsepower also increased for a six-speed manual transmission, 205 um, as well as 156 for torque, both increased five uh, compared to the previous years. And automatic carries four for the same number, 200 and 151. But what we pay attention to is the torque um, curve. It's actually, for a manual transmission, the torque stays on 200 RPM longer than the automatic one. Mm -hmm. 
To further enhance the vehicle, we actually may improve into the engine itself. We're able to reduce the friction um, of the engine by actually polishing the intake and exhaust valve stems. And we achieve less internal pumping loss. We actually optimize the flow rate of the fuel pump as well. We create all new intake manifold with new, with new design um, that actually lower airflow resistance and new exhaust manifold to improve airflow and performance efficiency. Suspension, because the heart is the heart handling, right? So for both the automatic and the manual, these suspension changes were implemented. So now, the, actually the springs and shock are both revised, so now the front is actually um, tighter and the back is a little bit softer. So when you're turning in, it's actually more sharp and more neutral and planted feeling when you take them to the corners. And you'll definitely, if you actually drove the FRS before and you're driving this now, you actually see the difference and feel the difference as well. The damping front has also been lower to absorb bumps better for less vibration in the cabin and more pleasant drive for the driver. In the rear, we stiffen as well as increase the rear um, sway bar. So actually give more, more planted feeling combined with the more stiffer front and softer back. And for the vehicle itself, we actually increased the body rigidity by a couple of things. For the transmission tunnel, we redesigned it. We added new material and new plating. In the rear shock attachment point, we actually added two metal pieces for reinforcement. And lastly, the strut tower brace mounting bracket is actually thicker than FRS. Thank <laughs> you.